Hello, students. So, um, as, uh, in the last class, we discussed about the problem 2.9, um, which we solved using Amis and by equations of equilibrium. Now, we will look into another example 2.10. Before that, I, I would like to mention two, three points, which is that. Uh, the first point is that string can have, can have only tension in it. Okay. So, in the previous problem, it is um, said that one sphere is attached to the wall by a string. Okay. And we given the direction as this. Okay. Which means it's a tension. Okay. So we always give like this, okay? Suppose it is attached to a string here, then we will like this, draw like this, okay? So string can only have tension. We we won't give compression to a string. Compression means the direction like should, should be like this, okay? This is compression and this is wrong, okay? We always go for tension, so. You should know this point. Okay. The second is the wall reaction is a push, but not a pull on the body. Okay. In the previous problem, there was a ball and there was a wall. Okay. And we and we followed this direction. Okay. Reaction, which means that the reaction is giving a push to the push to the wall. So this is the right way. We never give a pull. Pull means in this direction. Hmm? This is wrong. Okay. So you should know these two points. Hmm? A string can only have tension and a wall is a push. Okay, wall reaction is a push. Now come, coming back to our problem. So the problem is that determine the horizontal force F to be applied to the block weighing 1500 newton to hold it in a pos hold it in position on a smooth inclined plane ab which makes an angle 30 with the horizontal so this is the problem sometimes there will be figure sometimes there won't be any figure okay here figure is given sometimes uh, there won't be any figure okay so you should you should make an habit of drawing the figure just by looking into the question okay so we can draw the figure and later we can check okay so it is given that there is an inclined plane a b which makes an angle 30 with the horizontal okay so so this will be like this so there is Inclined plane AB. So there's an inclined plane AB which makes an angle 30 with the horizontal and the weight is there. Okay, which is weighing 1500. Okay. And there's a horizontal force. Okay. There's a horizontal force. So there is a horizontal force F is acting like this to the wall. So and this surface is also smooth. So these are the things given. Okay. Let me check the figure. Okay. So this is the figure. Now we have to draw what. We have to draw the free body diagram to solve the problem. Okay, so we can solve it uh, here also. There will be only three forces, I guess. Okay, yes, there will be only three forces. One is this force, and there will be a reaction. So there will be a reaction. So there will be a reaction. 
and reaction will be always perpendicular to the what surface okay so there is a reaction and the w weight weight will act always so always downwards hmm? so weight will be 150 so there is a r w and f so three forces are there so we can also go for lamis theorem hmm? or we can go for equations of equilibrium as you wish okay so now we, we have to draw the free body diagram. So, a free body diagram, we have to, we have to draw the weight. We have to draw the weight. We know that this angle is 30. We are drawing this slope for our convenience okay for free body diagram there is no need to draw this slope okay now weight w thousand fifty f4cf is acting at reaction r okay and this will be our global x and y direction. Okay. The problem there is they they didn't give any direction, so we can choose x and y like this. In a previous problem, it was given like this x and y. Okay. Now we are considering this as x and y. Okay. And if this angle is 30, then we know that this will be 90, okay? And this will be what? 60. Now, this will be also what? 90. If we consider this triangle, this will be 30, this will be 90, and this will be 60. And now we consider this triangle. Yeah. If this is 60, this is 90, this angle will be 30. Okay, so this angle will be 30. And this we know that it is 90. Okay, so we get it as F. W and R and this angle is 30. Okay, now we can solve using equations of equilibrium. Okay, this angle is 90 degree. This value is those. Equations of equilibrium. Equations of equilibrium. So sigma fx equal to zero. So now this force F is in the x direction. It doesn't have any y component, so f is positive. Now r, r is coming towards this. So I already told you if r is coming like this, so its y component will be like this and x will be like this. So x is going towards negative and And here it is 30. Here it is 30. So this will be I will enlarge so you can understand. R is like this. 
this angle is 30 so this will be 60 okay. so this is r spy component and this is r x component mm -hmm. according to the and we resolve it into rectangular coordinates okay so when we consider this this will be r cos 60 and this will be r sin 60 okay like this so here it's x component is coming towards the negative so minus r cos 60 equal to 0 now sigma fy equal to 0 now we know that r is going upwards so positive r sin 60 equal to sorry r 60 minus w equal to 0 okay because w is going downwards okay and we know the value of w is 1500 so by substituting we get the r by, by substituting value of r we get the force f okay so this is by using the equations of equilibrium now you can use what Lamis theorem also okay for Lamis theorem, we know that f is like this, w sorry, w is like this, and r is coming like this. So here one force is going downwards, and other two forces are coming towards a point. We can transfer this to this and this f to this by principle of transmissibility okay and we can rearrange the drawing so we can draw like this w f and r now we have to find out the angles okay angle now this will be 90 and we know that this is 30 this is 30 okay yes, this is 30 I will let me use another color this is 30 degree okay so, so this will be also 30 Okay, so this will be 30, okay. this will be 90, this will be 60, this will be 90. Now it is 500, w. now W by what? Mm -hmm. W by this much, which is W by sine 90 plus 30 equal to R divided by this is R. So this is the angle. So R divided by sine 90 equal to F divided by R means this angle this is sine 90 plus 60 okay by solving this you will get R and the value will be same for both methods okay any problem not in the parayam it was a simple and in other figure in question which is figure I can break up as well and chill up with problems Cost to pay 
എഫ് ഒരു ഹോറിസോണ്ടൽ വെയിറ്റിനെ പ്രിവെന്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു പിന്നെ തേർട്ടി ഡിഗ്രി ആണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു സിമ്പിൾ മാക്സേ ഉള്ളൂ പറഞ്ഞു റിയാക്ഷൻ എപ്പോഴും എങ്ങനെയായിരിക്കും റിയാക്ഷൻ എപ്പോഴും ഒരു ബോഡിയുടെ ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് റിയാക്ഷൻ എങ്കിൽ സോറി ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു സർഫസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നേരെ പെർപ്പെൻഡിക്കുലർ ആയിട്ടായിരിക്കും എപ്പോഴും റിയാക്ഷൻ വരിക ഓക്കെ നേരെ പെർപ്പെൻഡിക്കുലർ ആയിരിക്കാം ഇനി സപ്പോസ് ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് വെച്ചാൽ സർഫസ് എങ്കിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ റിയാക്ഷൻ വരും എപ്പോഴും സ്മൂ സർഫസ് ആയിട്ട് റിയാക്ഷൻ ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് ഡബ്ല്യു എപ്പോഴും വെയിറ്റ് താഴെയൊക്കെയായിരിക്കും ഡബ്ല്യു വെയിറ്റ് അപ്പൊ മൂന്ന് ഫോഴ്സ് ചെയ്യുന്നു അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ഏത് എത്ര നമ്പർ വന്നാലും ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ഇക്വിപ്മെന്റ് ചെയ്യാം ലാമിസിന്റെ ചെയ്യാം അത് നിങ്ങളുടെ ഇഷ്ടം ഏതാണെന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എളുപ്പം അത് ചെയ്യാം ഏറ്റവും നല്ലത് ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ഇക്വിപ്മെന്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ തോന്നുന്നു കാരണം ഇതിലാകുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ ഓഫ് ട്രാൻസ്മിസിബിലിറ്റി ഒക്കെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം അങ്ങോട്ടും ഇങ്ങോട്ടും ഒക്കെ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യാം ചിലപ്പോൾ അത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് തെറ്റാനുള്ള ചാൻസ് അപ്പം ക്വസ്റ്റിൻ ലാമിസ് തന്നെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറഞ്ഞാൽ അത് ചെയ്യാം അതർവൈസ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ഇക്വിപ്മെന്റ് ആയിരിക്കും അപ്പൊ കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ വരില്ല പെട്ടെന്ന് കിട്ടും അപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ സാധാ ഇതൊക്കെ മാക്സ് തന്നെ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് ഇവിടുത്തെ ആംഗിൾസ് ഒക്കെ കണ്ടുപിടിച്ച് എന്നിട്ട് സിഗ്മ എഫ് എക്സ് സിഗ്മ എഫ് വൈ ഇട്ടിട്ട് സിഗ്മ ആയിട്ട് സോൾവ് ചെയ്ത് ഇത്രയും അപ്പൊ ഇതൊന്ന് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കാം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡൗട്ട് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് ലൈവ് ക്ലാസ് ഒക്കെ ആകുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാം ഓക്കെ സോ താങ്ക് യു